I don't know about you guys, but I have been working from my home since March and I rent this apartment without a nicer office chair to work. Without knowing, I have been having mild back pain for the past couple of months. Welcome back to PhD Coffee Time. This is the online community for you as PhD student to get motivation, peer support, and practical tips during your PhD. First of all, if you are taking a coffee break during your day with my video, I'd like you to stand up and get out of your chair and do your starfish position like this. Because these are the muscles that we have been straining throughout the day while you are sitting at the desk typing or pipetting at the lab benches. There was a conference I attended and one of the sessions has spoken about the concept of ergonomic design. The importance of designing your workstation and make sure you are sitting comfortably. Today, I'd like to talk about practical tips that I don't think any of our research muscle would think of is our personal well-being while we are sitting at a desk. So today I learned it from the hard place and I want to share with you what I've learned and how I make my workstation ergonomic without having to buy a new chair because I'm anticipating to move anytime soon so I didn't go out and buy a new office chair. Sitting at the desk and not feeling comfortable at your work desk is going to drastically reduce your attention span, your deep thinking and your productivity altogether. And in fact, bad posture can lead to lots of health issues. If you are feeling tired and strained in your current posture, that is a sign that your body is telling you and you shouldn't ignore it. By the way, if you are new to my channel, I help PhD students on various tiny topics of the PhD so that you can be more efficient, more focused, more productive, and less stressed in your PhD. Do check out my channel and hit the like button to this video. Subscribe to PhD Coffee Time for weekly coffee break videos. Definition of ergonomics simply means how you can improve your efficiency and comfort at a work environment. It's true that when we have a little bit of ache and pain, you are also having a lot more distraction, a lot of unnecessary fatigue, you are increasing your effort and you are less productive altogether. There are many options like ergonomic office chair that are available online. For those who have a permanent home, you could just buy those. But if you are like me, who is a non-permanent resident in a foreign country, I'm renting this apartment and this chair and the other couch are all the options I have for sitting positions. You can see in this current position, I have to look down over some time. You can see that this is going to cause strain in my upper back, my lower back, my knee and my arms are not relaxed because I have to reach for the keyboard and I have to look down to the screen. So I attended this medical science liaison conference and the speaker, Mac Honan, she has saved my days because since her talk, I have been doing a lot better at home and I feel a lot more productive following her advice. I've learned to elevate my leg. In my case, I actually just use a dumbbell to raise my leg. I have found a cushion so that I can support my back when I sit. Separate the keyboard and your screen. Laptop is compact and your ideal end goal has to be 20 degree angle lower and your elbow is supposed to be 90 degree like this when you are typing. So a normal laptop is probably too low and a lot of time we find ourselves louching like this. I already have a second monitor. So what I did is I borrow a box. I ask the approval of my cat and I put it on my lap so that it elevates the keyboard and it was right here when I type.
So alternatively, here's how I improve my workplace. First, I found myself a box, a dumbbell to lift my leg, and a cushion to support my back. I also connect the second monitor to separate the keyboard and my screen. Your screen shouldn't be too close to you. It should be about 25 inch at least away from your face. Move the screen far enough so that you can see comfortably without having to lounge forward. You can see my shoulder is relaxed. I have back support. I also have a more relaxed arm with about 90 degree at the elbow. My feet are on the floor because of the dumbbell. And it's been the best change ever and I am a lot more productive with my writing. If you are sitting in the same posture for about an hour, it's probably a good idea to switch up and then continue again the same work with another posture and rotate. And by the end of the day, I also like to work out so that my whole body is not just in a static position the whole time. Remember, when humans are not looking at screen, we blink about 20 times per minute. When we stare at a computer, we reduce the blinking to about 2-3 to three times. So remember to blink. Try to blink a lot so that you hydrate your eye instead of letting it sit there and dry it up. Every 20 minutes, we should be taking a little bit of break. Look 20 seconds away and that's going to help your eye refocus and not just on the screen all the time. Mac also suggested an exercise to reduce eye strain using an eye box stretch. Imagine there is a rectangular box around your eye and you are looking up to the upper left corner, to the upper right corner, and then to the lower left corner and the lower right corner. Hold it for a few seconds each time. It's supposed to stretch all the muscles inside the eye so that you feel less strained when you are just staring at the screen the whole time. One exercise that she suggested is to generate some heat by rubbing your hands and use your palm to cover your eye so that it's going to warm up the muscles and relax your eye a little bit. I found all of this exercise really soothing and I have to learn to be disciplined and incorporate these into my exercise every day. And I hope this inspires you to also try the same. And a lot of us has external monitors. Try not to have too broad of a vision because then your neck has to move sideways too often. It's better to focus on one primary monitor and have the other screen as just an assistant like if you need to look up something quickly. And I'm a fan of that because when I have more than one monitor, I felt less focused. If your home has a standing desk, it's good to switch between standing and sitting every few hours and you are more able to change up your position so that you are going to freshen up every time you change your posture and remember, the next posture is the best posture. I hope this simple video is going to just give you a little bit of refreshing idea to think of yourself, care for yourself, how you could make your workstation a little more productive for your research. Thank you for watching this video. This may be a little random, but I don't know who needs to see this. I wish someone told me this months ago. If you have other tips to be ergonomic, like other items that you think are helpful for purchases, you can leave them down below. I will try to put links for our viewer to use. We can optimize our workstation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.